Hello everybody, this is Toy Zara, and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I found around the world of Transformers, I let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel, and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. So I'm finally all up to date with the A to Z, it's all back in alphabetical order, and fingers crossed everything from now should actually be um, in the correct order, as long as I don't forget or miss something out. Right. Even though we've had so many reveals and leaks over the last few days, I've still got some things to show you. And this one, although we've seen before, I always like to highlight it because if you haven't got this particular figure yet, then this person's photography, I am no fire, uh, will obviously make you want to go get it. So this is via T Formers, of course, via I am no fire's actual uh, website himself. This is Legacy United animated universe Optimus Prime. And I was really impressed with this figure because um, although I've got the original, it's one that's just been sort of sat in a box forever, hadn't really had much play time with it, whereas this one is exactly that. It's fun, I love the extending axe, the fact that it's really poseable. Um, and it's just a great figure to be honest. So it's good that this has pretty much hit most of the shelves everywhere now. So um, if you haven't got it yet, hopefully these photos will perhaps encourage you to do so. Go and grab him. And if you've not seen the review on this channel, then as I've said, I've already done the review on him with the transformation process and he is a very fun figure. Okay, moving on. So we've got a few sightings. So uh, this is Studio Series Wave 23 Deluxe have been spotted in Ireland. So that's your Scorpion Ock and Wheeljack figures. We've got Wave 23 Deluxe and Legacy Wave you know, uh, United Wave 1 Voyager in Colombia. That was a tongue twister. Uh, Popmart G1 Transforms Blind Boxes in Russia. And then United, Legacy United Wave 1 Voyager Earth Spark. And of course, Year of the Dragon King Crimson Flame in Singapore. So for those of you who are new to the channel, I wonder where I get this from. On TFW 2005, they do regular sightings, updates uh, throughout uh, the, the week. So just keep your eye on the website and you'll obviously be able to get the updates. The same as that. This is great news for everybody who's backing the HasLab project. This is where you can see the reflection as well. All of the tiers have been hit. So over 16,000 backers already. There's still quite a bit left to go. I do genuinely think, and no, I haven't been told anything, but I do genuinely think that they perhaps will release not another tier, but maybe perhaps another little bonus thing because I think it's just doing so well. Um, let me know in the comments if you've obviously pre-ordered it as well. This TF Con is going to be amazing. Look, we've got Stan Bush there now, of course. Um, although he wasn't obviously one of the voice actors, he of course did that iconic soundtrack that we all know and indeed love. So he's going to be there as well. Too many people at that. It's going to be amazing. Right, I've got some images here that are via TFW 2005, but they're also on Fans Hobby's Facebook. It's from their Fans Hobby Facebook page. This is their prototype of MB28 Armada Starscream. So it is just a prototype. We don't have the color images yet. And as I've said on previous accounts, sorry, previous videos, it's so good that they've gone all in basically on Armada figures and Super God Master Force. So um, they seem to have left a lot of Generation 1. I know Super God Master Force is Generation 1, obviously. But what I mean by that is not going with your, you know, your regular Optimus Primes. They've gone with your God Bomber, your God Jinrai, um, etc. And they've gone for Overlord rather than your Megatron and your Armada Megatron, etc. So, and of course, because they're third party, if they wanted to, they could obviously do Megatron with his iconic G1 mode. But it's nice that they've gone, I suppose, for different toy lines. So there you go, them test images are on the Facebook page and they're also on this TFW 2005. Right, via T Formers. No, this isn't actually, sorry, this is via, uh, funny enough, Fans Hobby's Facebook page because Fans Hobby have this, I suppose, diorama known as the Flexed uh, base. What they've done this time though is they've put the Diaclone base inside it and it looks spectacular. So this is the Diaclone reboot toy line that I'm going to show you more images of in a second. These have been able to, I think, purchase the last sort of two, two and a half, three years. They've rebooted a lot of their old Diaclone figures, um, basically just updated them. They are huge play sets. This figure in question is as tall as Thrilling 30 Metroplex, um, and they just look great. It's also the one I've featured in the last couple of videos where Mang Motion's done videos on it. This is just that same figure inside the base that is normally used for fans hobby figures but it just goes to show that it's multi-purpose and you can use it for other figures as well so that looks really really good this is what's got me the most excited this week uh, the mayhem attack squad 
I think it's great. It's a great use of the molds. Obviously, we've got Wind Sweeper there and Prime Universe uh, Breakdown. And of course, we've got Chop Shop and Barrage. So I'm really, really excited for them. Mark Clonus has updated his Instagram. There we go. So obviously, we just need Venom now. And then I wouldn't be surprised, guys, if we get the Diaclone Stroke E Hobby colors. Um, of some of these very soon as well. So that's a great picture. Just Venom's missing from it, but we know Venom's coming sometime in 2025. Okay, something for the kids maybe for you. Transformers, Earth Spark, Easter eggs, or for any chocolate lovers out there, have this has been spotted in American stores. Uh, there you go, comes with an Optimus Prime mug as well. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for that anyway. Uh, just an excuse to get some chocolate and give my little boy a Optimus Prime mug. This, again, I always say this, this proves that Transformers will make its way into pretty much every single line. Not just toys, we have got dog toys. So this is an Optimus Prime Crunch and Squeak dog toy. This has been found in Ross stores, but this particular one is from Fort Myers, Florida. It's only $4.99, and it's the second Transformers dog toy found at US retail. So there it is, it's Optimus Prime. Uh, there you go, the, the fact it's, as I say, look, Squeak and Tug official licensed product. And there he is, $4.99. This is brilliant. This is obviously an Easter egg from the uh, Magmatron Commander class figure that's coming out soon. There, of course, is Convoy. That's an Easter egg, we think, obviously, of Mammoth. Uh, what's his name? Is it Great Convoy? Again, apologies, guys. Uh, my Japanese Beast Wars knowledge isn't the greatest. I think it's Great Convoy, which is the mammoth version of Optimus Prime. I, I put the video um, of the tre of the advert, actually, the original toy up, and it was, of course, on it. But that's obviously been spotted on the packaging, so I'm sure we're going to be seeing that very, very soon. Right, I just mentioned Diaclone again. This is the vehicle set, fourth edition, Takara Tomy Mail Limited Edition. So I think it's just the different colours. We've seen these vehicles before, but again, this gives me a bit of an, a bit of an opportunity to explain to you about the Diaclone reboots, which is what these are. So look, every single little vehicle, whatever, has multiple modes. So basically they transform. They combine together differently. Uh, you can put them side to side, which you can see here. You can also uh, put them um, so they're towing each other, which you can see. And then of course they can carry different uh, little vehicles inside them, which again, all do transform. And of course, for those of you who don't remember or don't know, Diaclone is the original toy line that of course sparked Transformers, so that is great. Um, and I know Pete, who comments on it quite a lot, has a lot of these figures, so um, and everybody just says they're really, really good anyway. So, okay, guys, YouTube, I've just put the Yolo Park uh Cheetor up. I've got a load of three zero figures to review. I'm going to get Masterpiece Train Bot number five. It says no, it's not says that's the next one, whichever one number five is that is ready to queue up for later. I do have all the Studio Series Rise of the Beast. I've just got so many now. I've fallen so far behind because of the Primus figure. So um, I'm probably going to get two videos out a day. I hope it's not too much. Let me know in the comments if it's too much. I know a lot of people only watch what they want to watch. But again, because I've reviewed so many different you know, toy lines, genres, etc. Hopefully there's still enough there out for all of you. And of course, I'm going to be doing a live tomorrow because it is... Um, the what's the word I'm after it is the first weekend of the month so channel members it's your opportunity to win a figure of your choice so for those of you who don't really know channel membership is basically just a way that you can support the channel I do I don't do a patreon I do because I don't want people basically to pay for things that they only going to get exclusives for I run the channel on here exactly the same the channel membership is just a way for people to say thank you uh, for the effort and for and basically for, to keep the channel running but what I like to do is put that back into you guys the members and give you the opportunity to win a figure um, as well so I'll be looking forward to speaking to you anyway whether you're a member or not in the live tomorrow night um, and I just want to very quickly show you some of the figures available on Show Z pre-order already. So there, of course, are the Missing Link Convoys. We've got the Iron Factory's take on Leo Kaiser. We've also got the Yolo Park uh, G1 figures, the AMK Optimus Prime. Uh, so many figures I need to choose from. There is the Fans Hobby Armada Starscream, Kang Toys figures, uh, Fans Toys figures, everything you can think of, X Transbots figures. It is uh, New Age. Um, it is well worth Dr. Wu. It is well worth a nose, guys. Luna Prime is there as well, or Luna Convoy. Um, and yeah, as always, guys, I really appreciate all your support. Um, even though I'm completely busy, rushed off my feet with everything else going on, it's still a pleasure doing this for you, and I really enjoy it. So that's all that really matters. Great stuff. Catch up with you tomorrow. See you soon.